Well, you can see it right here, a gushing waterfall flooding out a family's basement, and the owner claims the popular ice castles in New Hampshire are to blame for this. The homeowner says when spring came and the castles melted last year, all that runoff poured into her backyard. Now she's afraid the same thing will happen this year. But as Ken McLeod shows us, the company that runs the ice castles says her complaint doesn't hold water. I've never seen anything like it before in my life. Kelly Trinkle has mounds of pictures to support her contention. Apparently they think it's fine to just flood your new neighbors and not take any responsibility. She's talking about last April when roughly 35,000 gallons of water gushed into the basement of the home where she grew up in North Woodstock, New Hampshire. So much she called 911 and firefighters dug protective trenches around the house. I was like, what is going on? I was totally freaking out. In the days that followed, she and her husband quickly tracked the offending river uphill to the retention ponds on the property of their new neighbor, Ice Castles, which had just spent its first winter on the site, turning millions of gallons of water into an icy attraction for the paying public. It doesn't take a rocket scientist to figure out what's going on, and they have been denying this from the very beginning, and I don't understand it. Then and now, the company argues the April flood was not from melting Ice Castles, which were largely still in ice form at the time. Instead, company lawyers blame significant rainfall in the days prior, combined with the still frozen ground, which overwhelmed a nearby culvert. I end up with like over 35,000 gallons of water in my basement when we didn't have a drop before. Strange, says Kelly, that the family home had been bone dry since it was built in the 1960s. The only new thing in town is ice castles. This is the first winter they were here. Kelly tells me she still has nightmares about water gushing into her basement again this spring. Fearing it will, the Trinkles have spent $30,000 on a system to drain the basement and keep it dry. David? Well, that is a mess. Ken McLeod, thank you so much.